gift of grace is Jesus my Redeemer. There is no more for heaven now to give. He is my joy, my righteousness and freedom, my steadfast love, my deep and boundless peace. To this I hold, my hope is only Jesus, for my life is wholly bound to His. Oh, how strange and divine I can sing, all is mine, yet not I, but through Christ in me. The night is dark, but I am not forsaken, for by my side the Savior He will stay. I labor on in weakness and rejoicing, for in my need His power is displayed. To this I hold my shepherd will defend me through the deepest valley he will lead all the night has been won and i shall overcome yet not i but through christ I dread, I know I am forgiven. The future sure, the price it has been paid. For Jesus bled and suffered for my pardon. And He was raised to overthrow the grave. To this I hold, my sin is defeated Jesus now and never is my plea oh the chains are released I can sing I am free yet not I but through Christ in me With every breath, I long to follow Jesus, for He has said that He will bring me home. And day by day, I know He will renew me, until I stand with joy before the throne. To this I hold. My hope is only Jesus, all the glory evermore to Him. When the race is complete, still my lips shall repeat, yet not I, but through Christ in me. To this I hope, my hope is only Jesus. Jesus, all the glory evermore to Him. When the race is complete, so my lips shall repeat, yet not I, but through Christ in me. When the race is complete, Still my lips shall repeat, yet not I, but through Christ in me. Yet not I, but through Christ in me. Yet not I, but through Christ in me.
Hey, I have to make this short because uh, everything's just going wrong right now and because I don't have a lot of time. It's the one thing I just seem to keep losing every day, just more of it lost. Go figure. Um, and everybody feels it, right? There's not a lot of time. Everybody feels that there's really not a lot here. There's a lot, but it's really not a lot. When you, you know, all things considered. And it's only because of time. In the moment and in the span of what has passed, it's a lot. And uh, of course, it's supported by a biblical perspective that God's very gracious and very loving, and he's given us more than we need. But there's even more to be had. And it doesn't happen because of you. It doesn't happen because of any of us. Hence the song, hence Luke ten twenty. In this rejoice not, you fill in the blank, Rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. There is heaven to look forward to. And even now, there are things to look forward to. But what makes heaven possible? What makes heaven so much better than this? And what makes this so much better than what could be or what was or what someone else is doing, or what someone else is going through is him. If you are rightly related to Christ, you can never measure what he's able to do. Keep your relationship right with him. Then whatever circumstances you are in, and whoever you meet day by day, he is pouring rivers of living water through you, and it is of his mercy that he does not let you know it. Beware of the people who make usefulness their grounds of appeal. The lodestar of the saint is God himself, not estimated usefulness. It is the work that God does through us that counts, not what we do through him. All that our Lord heeds in a man's life is the relationship of worth to his father. And how often we make the mistake of assuming, well, it's okay, because I've got time. There's always tomorrow. God will forgive me. Just as much, if not less, than we make the mistake of saying, what am I going to do? This will never change. This will never get better. I'll never be good. Well, you're right, because we're not. Only God is good. Hence the song. Things are dark, things are confusing, things are discouraging, but God. And also, this seems right, this seems good, this seems pleasing, this seems okay, but God. So, if there's anything that you do here, you know what I'm saying, just give up, just give it up, just like, oh. Stop. So take my own advice, I guess. That's what I mean, everything's falling apart. <laughs> Stop, or you too will see the lights go out before you can, For you know, whatever. If you've lived long enough, or if you've paid attention enough in the short life and the short time that you've had here, all things considered, you know the heavens declare the glory of God. His invisible attributes are all through creation. He has done things for you that you don't deserve. Things have happened to you that you can't explain. And if you don't believe it, then believe me when I tell you it's true. Because I've experienced it. And it's not that everything is better. It's not that everything is, is fine. It's just perfect. It's just just the way it's supposed to be. But in a way it is, because it's fine. This is the way it's supposed to be, because all I'm worried about is being rightly related to what's good, being rightly related to God, and then whatever he decides to do will be good. Including things that you don't want to happen 
including things that make the time spent uncomfortable or unproductive in your eyes. We have to live with the consequences of our decisions and we have to live with the fact that we are not in control. We don't deserve control. <laughs> Third time's a charm. Yet not I, but through Christ in me. Only one life will soon be passed. Only what is done for Christ, in Christ, by Christ, will last. Make the time worth it. No matter how short or how long it seems, it is good if it is rightly related, if it is rightly served, if it is surrendered to the Lord. There is no task, there is no person, there is no lifestyle, there is no idea, there is nothing that will make, make your life any better than just listening to God. So do it, for goodness sake, do it, Josiah. And if you feel like I'm speaking to a... If, if you know me and you feel like I'm speaking to you in particular, I'm not. And if you don't know me and you feel like that this is worthwhile, then maybe it was. That's up to the Lord. Now I have to go do some other things with my time. So I'll see you when I see you. In heaven, preferably. Be there. Just be there. You don't have to do something great in this rejoice that your names are written in heaven that God's your father, that he, he works all things for your good, for the good. Rejoice that you don't have to do it alone, that you don't have to be ashamed before God, before people. It's good. It's so peaceful. And that peace and that security and that resolve it overflows in your life and other people see it i can tell you firsthand it's not about your personality it's not about your ideas it's not about your intellect it's not about your abilities it's about here my lord send me it's about we don't have much time so take this vapor of eternity within eternity and squeeze it in into his hand just shove it and then just don't worry about it. And the rest of time will be taken care of. Okay? Yeah, anyway. <sighs> All right. May it be so with us. Grace and peace and so forth. See ya.